Introduction to Microsoft Word 2010 Microsoft Word is an application software. It is used for word processing. It was introduced by Microsoft Corporation. Some of the uses of MS Word are as follows. It is used for producing notices, letters, reports, books, bills, etc. It helps in modifying the text both while typing and after typing the text. It helps in beautifying the text by using different color and style. It is used for changing the font size, border, shading and also using various other effects. Starting Microsoft Word 2010 To start Microsoft Word, follow the steps given below. Step 1 Click on Start button. Step 2. Select All Programs. Step 3. Menu will appear. Choose Microsoft Office. Step 4. Under it, choose Microsoft Word 2010. A blank document will appear. A new blank document with temporary name, Document 1 opens up. Small blinking line which you see on the screen is called the insertion point or cursor. It shows the position where next type characters will appear. The cursor will automatically start shifting to right as we begin to type. Parts of the Microsoft Word window Title bar It shows the document title. Quick access toolbar It shows common commands like save, undo, redo, etc. Tabs. Major commands are grouped into buttons called tabs, such as home, insert, page layout, etc. Ribbon. It is located just below the title bar. In ribbon, the commands are organized in logical groups which are collected under tabs. Each tab has its own separate ribbon. Document page. It is the blank area where text can be typed. Status bar. It is present at the bottom of the window. The status bar gives you information about the current document. Creating a new document. The given steps should be followed for creating a new document. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Choose the New option. Step 3. Select the blank document option. Step 4. A new blank document will open. Start typing your text in it. Word wraps the text automatically while we type in the Word document. Wrapping of the text refers to that if the text does not fit in the current line, then it shifts to the next line automatically. Saving a document For saving a document, the given steps should be followed. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Choose the Save option. Step 3. Save as dialog box will appear. Enter the name of the file which you want to give in the file name box. Step 4. Click on the Save button. Closing a document. For closing a document, the following steps should be followed. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Select the Close option. Printing a document. For printing a document, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Select the Print option. Selecting and editing text. Making changes in the document is known as editing. We need to select the text for copying, moving, finding, replacing, deleting or formatting. The selected text is displayed in the highlighted bar. Moving the text To move the text from original location to new location, cut and paste option is used. Step 1. Choose the text which you want to move. Step 2. Select the Cut button in the Clipboard group on the Home tab. Step 3. 
the text will disappear from the document and is temporarily placed on clipboard. Step 4. Place the cursor at the location where you want to place the selected text. Step 5. Click on the paste button. The selected text appears at the new location where you wanted to place it. Copying the text. For duplicating the text, we use the copy and paste option. We can copy the text from one document to other as well. The copy paste feature does not remove the text from its original place as the cut feature does. Step 1. Choose the text which you want to move. Step 2. Select the copy button in the clipboard group on the home tab. Step 3. Place the cursor at the location where you want to place the selected text. Step 4. Click on the Paste button. The selected text appears at the new location where you wanted to place it. Checking Spelling and Grammar In MS Word, there is inbuilt dictionary and set of grammar rules for checking the spellings and grammar of the text document. Incorrect words are displayed with red line. For example, Computer is a machine. Here, spelling of machine is incorrect. Grammatical errors and misused words are displayed with green wavy lines. For example, I will complete my work. Method for checking the spelling of any word is given below. Step 1. Right click on the word with red wavy line. Step 2. A shortcut menu will appear showing various suggestions. Step 3. From the suggestion list, Choose the correct spelling.